It just dripped on the floor. That's what you get when you don't lick it off the bottle fast enough. You guys. Today I am drinking Garnacha. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really just got this because the bottle looked cool and then I tasted it and it was delicious and it was like $11 or something. This bright and silky red pairs deliciously with smoked and grilled meat. It's produced from vines planted in 1965 in granite and sandy soil within the Madrid wine region at 574 meters elevation. Average temperature Temperature during the April to October growing season is okay. This is too much information. Zestos, you're killing it. Okay, my hair looks a little bit crazy today, but there is a reason. This has been a highly requested video. I have been asked time and time again to do a head wrap tutorial video. Get excited because it's finally happening. I've been wearing head wraps ever since I was in my late teens. I thought it looked funky and eclectic, and it covers up a bad hair day. A common response that I get from other women about my head wraps is, "It looks so good on you, but..." I could never pull that off. Girl, yes you can. Something my mom always said is that fashion and hair is all about attitude. If you think you're pulling it off, you're pulling it off. I've actually never showed anyone how I do this, so we'll see how this goes. So this video is dedicated to Samantha Lee. She's one of my subscribers and she recently wrote in and said that she was diagnosed with breast cancer on Valentine's Day and she wanted to know how I style my head wraps. I just want to say, Samantha, I'm sending you all the good vibes girl and I'm gonna show you how to do those head wraps oh I have several different styles of head wraps and I'm very picky about the fabric and everything because it matters I love 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 turbans like this they require no skill obviously this one is so perfect it's made by roots I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't make this style anymore because I already checked. This is my favorite in the winter time because it's nice and sturdy and it keeps you warm. And it also gives you that like 1940s film star vibe, which maybe a lot of people don't wanna look like that, but I do, so. You guys have probably seen me wear this one a lot because I can't find anything like it. I look for head wraps that have give and they're not too tight to my head. The last thing I wanna do is look like a damn pinhead walking around town in a head wrap, okay? I've been looking for other ones like this for a long time. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So I've worn these in a lot of my videos. They are the bandanas from Madewell. They do still make these, so that's good news. So I fold it into a triangle and then start from the back. Hope I shaved my armpits. I think I did. Nice and secure. Then I just hold on. I'm going to make my hair look better in a second. That'll come. I tie it in a bow and then I kind of zhuzh the little flaps here. Make it look like a little, like a little rose. I just sort of like play around with it. I tuck my hair. It's all about tucking, right? Tuck your hair, tuck the fabric. And so that is how I style the Madewell bandanas. I mean, they don't have to be Madewell. I just like these because they tend to have different colors and designs in stock and I can depend on it. So I saved the most complicated one for last, but don't freak out. Anyone can do this. You just have to have a little patience. It's all about tucking and zhuzhing. This is a scarf that I just bought at H&M. I think they have them in like eight different colors. You can see it's a lot of fabric, right? The reason I go for this type of material, it's very, very like linen-y and very light. This was twice the size. I cut it in half, nothing fancy. It's all raggedy on the ends. I'm gonna tell you right now. The thing is we're gonna tuck and wrap so no one's going to see that. Literally just take it and fold it in half. And again, this is all about your own preference and style. If you want it to be thicker or wider, you can do whatever you want. You bring it tight around the back of your head. I like to do kind of like a side knot because I think that that's kind of fabulous. So I knot it like that, knot it again, and then literally stuff it into the band that I tied around my head. Does that make sense? So you're literally just tucking it into what you wrapped around your head. Take this piece, do the same, bring it around and like just tuck that shit back there. And then you can like zhuzh and make it like funky and pretty. Kind of like pull at the fabric, pull it out a little bit and kind of make it look, I don't know, it kind of looks like a a flower, you know? I've had a few people say to me, aren't you afraid that people are gonna think you have cancer? Um, no, I'm not, because this is a fabulous look regardless. So this is what I decided my finished product was gonna look like. I really just love playing with different designs, different patterns. It's just a really easy way to just funkify something and add a little bit of interest, you know what I mean? I know you're sitting there thinking, oh, that's Kate, I could never do that. Well, you know what? Maybe you should try it first. You're probably wrong. Maybe you're having like a terrible hair day. 
right. Or maybe you just want to look like Norma Desmond. I'm not sure, but either way, make it work. If you guys are enjoying my content, please do subscribe, share, and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Okay, bye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm.